Um, so there's a lot of hope, I think, that lives can be made better with AI. And this hope is coming even from the grassroots. But uh, there is a trust problem. Uh, there was already a trust problem with tech to some degree. That trust problem is uh, increased to a degree with AI. I think if you look at it from a systemic perspective, you have to solve that trust, trust problem in a holistic way before you can build a model and give it to people. Uh, so I think government themselves endorsing certain tech or AI solutions goes a long way, especially with, say, agriculture or something, where the farmer doesn't have enough information to make this decision himself. So he's relying on community, he's relying on FPOs, he's relying on government also. So there's a value chain here, and government is like one major party in the value chain, and if government endorses certain say tech products through their policies or through example cases like i'll give you an example about beam with upi right where government put out a prototype app and said this is how like upi was a standard beam was an app and that caused a lot of people like to take up that adoption and say okay government is going to be behind this it's not going to disappear tomorrow so how do you see the presence of ai in Yeah, so I think it's multidimensional. Firstly, I think, again, tying back to the government angle, government is thinking deeply about payment for ecosystem services. Now, it would be great if this payment for ecosystem services tied into livelihoods of farmers and into ecology. right? So if you can figure out something that the farmer can grow that is great for the environment and great for himself, that is the best case. This is not always possible. Sometimes the most profitable case is going to be something that's okay for the environment, not the best. So payment for ecosystem services can come in there, can make it such that the thing that's good for the environment can actually be more profitable than something that's sort of okay for the environment, a slash and burn and such practices. Um, so there it's like a data case where the data can help policy evolve. Then there's also the advisories, which is assume that the farmer has the ecological best interest of the nation and stuff in mind. Can we give him advisories to maximize his yield based on what he's already growing, his communal knowledge and the weather, right? So he's got a lot of communal knowledge. This is built over ages. And that communal knowledge is getting disrupted because of climate change around. This is like new data. And they don't know how to grapple with that thing. So like getting more real-time advisories and so on would be really helpful.